My name is Miss Bergeron. You can call me Miss B if you need to get my attention. Hello. So I'm going to talk to you guys today about science. But in particular, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about careers in science. Oh, I know. You're going to have a job the rest of your life. Why start talking about it now, right? But there's a lot of, there's a lot of good stuff to talk about when it comes to jobs in science. I want you to take out a piece of paper, and I want you guys to write down as many jobs as you can think of. That have to do with science. As many as you can think of. How many of you have at least five things on your list? Raise your hand. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good. How many of you have at least 10 things on your list? How about 15? Anyone come up with 15? No? Right here? How many, how many, uh, 16. Can we hear some of them? No, you go. Give me your three favorites. Okay. Well, engineer, chemist, and biologist. Those are some pretty basic ones. Engineer. And engineering is science. Chemist, biologist. Let me hear a few others. What do you got? A marine biologist. A microbiologist. So there's a lot of different kinds of biology, right? How about over here? A zoologist, so a lot of those in town, right? With the, the zoo and the wild animal park. <gasps> squishy brains. I hear you guys already know about the squishy brains. How about over here? So what about me? What do you think I do? Science. <laughs> Read her shirt, Allie. What does it say? Psychology. It says the San Diego Science Festival. That's not going to help you much. I do brain science. You're right. So I am a research scientist, so I work for a pharmaceutical company. What does a pharmaceutical company do? Pharmacy. Like pharmacy. What do you get at the pharmacy? <laughs> Medicines, right? So, so how long do you think I went to school to do this? So after high school, how many of you think I went to college? All right, how many of you think I went to college for at least two years? About four years? How about eight years? How about 12 years? How old do you people think I am? <laughs> United States, right? Yeah. So I grew up way up in northern New Hampshire. That's the high school I went to right there. So it was a public high school. I the mascot was the Mountaineer. So I grew up right in the middle of the mountains. I traveled very far, so I went to a public high school, just like a lot of you will do. Graduated after four years, and I went to school in Boston. I went to Boston College, where I went to school for four years. Those of you who said four years were right. So there are a lot of different kinds of scientists that work with me. So one of them, and some of the, some of the answers you guys put down on what kind of jobs you can have, are chemists. So what do chemists do? Chemistry. <laughs> right, it's right in the name. Chemists work on chemistry. So they're the people who actually create the new molecules that may be medicines. Then we also have engineers. 
So we, talk, we heard a couple of people say engineers, computer designers, these sorts of things. These are also scientists. Oh. This is actually, this is Amit. He was a, um, an intern with us, so he was still in college when he was working with us. Here are some of the robots. This is Katie. She works with me. This is some of the robots that she works with. And again, you'll probably have a hard time hearing. But if you watch inside this machine that she's working in, so you see the robots moving around? Flips a plate over, it spins around, it goes grab another plate. So it's doing three or four different things at the same time that would take a really long time for people to do. And so it makes our jobs a lot easier. How big is a liter? How many of you know how big a liter is? Yeah, so soda bottles, right? So the, the big soda bottles at the store, those are two liters. The little smaller ones, it's about a liter, right? How big is a milliliter? What was that? You got it. It's one thousandth of a liter. So you take a liter and you divide it up into a thousand pieces. That's a milliliter. Can anyone guess what a microliter is? All right. So what I want you to do is people in the first row, turn your chairs around and you're going to work with the people behind you. Same thing, third row behind the fourth row. And then the back row, if you could all work together, that'd be fantastic. All right, guys. This is, anyone know what this is? A syringe. It's called a pipette. And it works. Here you go. All right, guys. I want you to look at the top of your pipette and see how many of you have one that says P10 on the top. All right, so that means that pipetter can pipette up to 10 microliters. So now all of you have a pipette that is set to measure out puppies. Yeah, I didn't think you were paying attention. Guys, listen up. So in order to run an experiment that's so tiny, if we had to do it ourselves, it's really hard to pipette. It's really hard to pipette just a microliter, right? Sometimes the drop is too big, sometimes it's little. If you look at all the little drops on your piece of paper, are they the, are they the exact same size? No. No, it's kind of hard to pipette that tiny amount of volume. This is a little video of one of the, the instruments that we use. There's a tiny little robot that's, that spits out very accurately exactly how much of each, each liquid, each part of the experiment that we want to put in a plate. What that instrument is using is this a plate that looks like this one. This is called a NanoWell plate. It has 3,456 little experiments going on all at the same time in one plate. So we can test over 3,000 compounds, and they fit right in the palm of your hand. So I'm going to pass this around. What we did with this one is there's no experiments in here. There's nothing dangerous in here. It's just, again, it's colored water, but that would print it out to make a little design. When you look, think back of all the little videos that we've seen, all the pictures that we've seen, what do you think is so good about being a scientist? What looked different about these jobs than some other jobs? You can be very creative. What else? We have different types of data. Lots of different tools. We work with a lot of different things. It's not boring. It's very exciting. We do a lot of different kinds of stuff.